Yeah. And so you have amazing history in being a business owner and using it too. It's not like you're a guy that was like, hey, this thing looks cool. I'm going to just be a consultant. It's not that at all. You're like, oh, it really helped me change the shape of the company. And that makes a huge difference. That's right. And I made mistakes using it too. Well, let's talk about that for just a second. So yeah, what sort of mistakes did you make? So this this is a this is a pretty good one. So I'm I'm a data oriented person like you are, and so I see this data, and I knew I I saw how accurately it described me. So I thought, of course, it's going to describe everyone accurately, and it does. However, that's not the only piece. That's not the only piece of the puzzle. And so I I'll I'll tell you, um, bearing my soul here a little bit. So I. I, I owned a non-medical senior care company, and a part of selling in that company is going in and out of nursing homes and assisted living facilities and, and trying to gain relationships such that they would re- refer us. So I hired I had the perfect profile for exactly what I wanted. I already had someone in, in the company that was just awesome, and I wanted to replicate that individual. So I looked at their culture index, and I almost didn't even interview her. I, I basically hired her on the spot for a fairly high level sales position based on culture index. Well, she went in and out of her first facility and came out bawling because it turned out her mother had passed away in a facility two months prior and she just couldn't see herself going in and out. So she lasted two days, business cards showed up four days later. And here I am back to square one. So we like to say there's three things that are that are key. That, and this hopefully will be a takeaway regardless of whether you're exposed to culture index or not. Number one is who. So that that's what we measure is the who, uh, the personality, the traits, the strengths, the weaknesses. And we do it, you know, in my experience, better than anyone. Uh, number two is the what. And, and it's still important, meaning this individual's ability to do exactly what I was going to ask her to do, going in and out of facilities. I should have obviously ask that question in the interview <laughs> process, but also experience. So for instance, if you're finding a, uh, looking for a controller and they're the perfect who, which we can identify that, but they never had a, an accounting class, then you know that doesn't make that's sense. It's not going to work out of, of who you, you are and what makes you tick. Well, and it's so funny. Imagine like I never in a million years thought I was going to be the person in front of a, a camera. I was voted most artistic and I was the geekiest like in the corner. I, I did a speaking gig for one of my mom's friends. And she's like, I never in a million years would think you would have been in front of somebody. Like you were in the corner drawing or reading a book and not wanting to talk to anyone. So I feel like it's really interesting to see these pieces, especially because now, of course, it makes perfect sense. But if I would have known that a while ago, it would have helped me on my path, which is kind of interesting. Is it something, though, that changes? Like when I was younger, would it have shown my introvertedness? I feel like I'm a learned extrovert. I love it now. But (laughs) but you know what I mean? It's such a great question because if you were to research um, behavioral scientists, psychologists, psychiatrists, they would you, you would see that generally your your brain and, and your concept of who you are uh, grows the most between zero and five, and second most between six and ten, and so that most people, in terms of their personality and their self concept are fairly well cooked Mm. by the age of between 10 and 12. And you'll see some that say up to 16 and there's slight modifications. Now you may not fully be aware of who you are yet because Mm. you're still figuring it all out, but conceptually and internally, it's fairly firm and it doesn't change. And I remember when my licensee first said this to me, I was like, oh no, a couple of my kids are screwed. (laughs) (laughs) No, just kidding. No, I'm just kidding. That's terrible. No, but I mean, but really...